Hello and good morning from the Universal Orlando Parking Garage yet again. I parked in the King Kong section and I'm heading over to City Walk to take the water taxi over to Sapphire Falls, which is where my brother, Travis, and my niece and nephew, Margo and Isaac, are currently staying. This is their final day in Orlando and they wanted to have some breakfast and we are going to Amatista. Of course, I was parked at the very end of the parking garage again. And speaking of the parking garage, I have a lot of nostalgia, which is weird for the parking garage. Specifically, I remember being here with my family and my brothers, getting out of the car and just listening to the music in the parking garage and just being so nervous and excited to go to Universal, which is a little bit silly, but just that iconic classic Universal music and then the rides that they used to have here, which absolutely terrified me. I don't know, I'm, I'm just nostalgic about it. The car level is much better compared to yesterday. It's interesting, the difference that an hour will make just getting here. Usually around 10 o'clock is like the worst time to make it to the parks. Just the crowd levels, so they get inside at the toll booths and then to go through security. And then to make it through City Walk to then the ticket entrances out the theme parks, it's it's a lot. It's a little bit after 8 o'clock right now, so the parks are not open yet, but they're almost open. They're open for resort guests. So now to wait for the Sapphire Falls water taxi to take me over to Sapphire Falls. Right now, Travis is getting the kids ready for the morning. And uh, yeah, we'll be going to Amatista. We might just meet there. We'll see. I hope one of these boats is me. Probably, right? Well, my boat is going into maintenance, is what they told me. I could have jumped onto the uh, Royal Pacific boat, but then that one left before I could I could uh, do that. Okay, getting out of the boat now. That didn't take long at all. The next one showed up immediately. Okay, I'm pulling away from the dock. I am yet again by myself on this boat. Where was this weather yesterday? It's like overcast and there's like a bit of a breeze. I'm mad. Yesterday it was so hot and the day before. Okay, we're almost ready to set fireballs. Straight ahead. Travis already has a table with the kids. The boats are like really moving fast today, which has been fantastic. They're actually very efficient. We're gonna pulling around to the dock. Right now, there's Sapphire Falls and uh, Amatista. And I'll see Travis. The music on these boats is like, I don't know, this is like my kind of playlist, so I love it. Okay, time to have a breakfast buffet. No, oh, man, this is Amatista right here, right inside. My first stop was making my own omelet with pretty much everything on it. And now for some assorted fruits and cheeses and meat. And then of course pancakes and hash browns and sausage and enough bacon to kill a person. Travis and the kids just went back into the room and I came outside. Look at the falls of Sapphire Falls. This is a really pleasant outdoor seating area out here. This is the walkway over to our building. The pool is right over there. You can walk all the way down there, I believe. There's the boat launch, of course, over to City Walk and the theme parks. I'm trying to remember if this wheel ever spun. I don't remember. Right? Probably? At some point? Okay, but now we're heading back to the room, I guess, all together. That's where I went outside, and we sat way over there, and I'm heading back up to the room. I've never said this before, but I think Amatista is my, uh, what do they say, Roman Empire? Just that I think about it a lot, and it makes me happy. So what I might do, because Travis and the kids are getting picked up in about an hour or so, I might walk around Sapphire a little bit before heading back to the car. Because again, they're using a service uh, for car seats. That's where I was, right down there, right outside of Amatista. And I just wanted to, I don't know, it's been a bit since I've gotten to explore Sapphire. I want to go down to the falls, maybe down to the game room. We love Uncle Roy so much, right? This is the uh, view from the room. Ready? One more time. Very comfortably breezy and overcast. We're heading to the lobby right now. There's the splash pad and then zero entry. I'm coming. This is interesting. It's King Julian just walking around the lobby of uh, Sapphire Falls. Wow, this is tiger, you go. There's a character from Kung Panda. All right, Travis, it was fun, wasn't it? Your driver's arrived, and there goes Travis in his car that he rented with uh, car seats back home to North Carolina. And I'm heading back inside Sapphire Falls, woohoo! So now, like I said, I think I'm just going to take my time heading back to the parking garage. So inside the Universal Studios store, I want to see if they have any Sapphire Falls specific merchandise. So from what I can tell, this is the Sapphire Falls section here. So there's this really cool spirit jersey here. I do like that a lot. And they have this shirt here. I think it's just pretty much the same design on the majority of these shirts and jackets. You know, the Sapphire Falls logo and then again on the back. Don't think I'm going to be getting anything today, but it's cool that they actually do have some stuff here. I'll probably like get this shirt, I think. They also have these cups with the Sapphire Falls logo on it. And then a hat too. This is right across from the New Dutch Trading Company. I could get another wand here, right? I think they have wands, yes, but a 
limited selection, but I'll, I'll do that in the parks. So what I'm going to do now is head down to, not all the way down there, that's where Amatista and the boat launch are, the water taxi. I'm going down here, because that is how I can get out to the pool and then the game room down here too. I don't think I'll be playing anything in here, but this is where the game room is. There's a pool table outside. There used to be like uh, Connect Four out there in ping pong too. I'll check if those are still there. It's a little bit quiet in here right now. Look at this, they have Pokemon packs in here and Pokemon headphones. That's pretty cool, tempting, but I'm okay. This is where we played Connect 4 for 4. There's the pool table over there in the game room. And uh, there's the walkway over to our building, a little outdoor bar, and they do have ping pong tables. And this is the workout room. I'm not going to be going up to the pool to film anybody in the pool. It would have been cool to see which room would have been ours back over here. It's just on the other side of this, this pool. This is the walkway to get up to the water slide up there, but I'm going through the rocks over to the drum club, which is like the bar on the other side. I still remember Sapphire Falls being built and watching this in particular being constructed from the uh, walking pathway over to Cabana Bay and just being really interested. I don't think that we've ever actually been to this bar. Not that I can remember, at least. There's also a hot tub over there. This is a fire pit. And then there's the splash pad that we spent a really good amount of time at last night. I feel like this was a little bit more interesting when it first opened, but Isaac absolutely loved this and Margo too. So I've made a lap around the pool. Our room would have been one of these rooms, maybe this one right here because we were looking out of these trees. This is where I came outside over by the bar and this is where there's like a bridge from the pool over to the waterfall over there to the Sapphire Falls. This is the walkway from the lobby and then the uh, water taxi down there. But I'm going outside the gate. Feels as though it's about to rain probably at some point. So I'll be taking the water taxi back to City Walk. Isn't this beautiful though with these plants in bloom and these lanterns and then the water? I still wish that this rotated, if it ever did. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, but here's some more falls and then Amatista and then the outdoor seating that I went out earlier this morning. And this is the bottommost level. And there's a water taxi coming from City Walk. Strongwater Tavern all the way up there. That's where I sort of came out on over there. That's right outside of where we were sitting and in the lobby of Sapphire Falls Consistently one of our absolute most favorite resorts at Universal instead of heading up the stairs back over to the pool And then upstairs and then across to the lobby I'm just going to go inside the building and then up the elevator and across this walkway Of course, I just went up to this level to cut across to the lobby to go back down to the water taxi over there and that's where I just was, right down there. But that was my little uh, little walk around Sapphire Falls. Of course, myself and Brennan absolutely want to stay here again, even though I got a pretty good experience just coming as often as I did with uh, Travis and Margo and Isaac staying here. Travis obviously welcomed me to stay if I wanted to, but just with a couple kids, I thought I'd give them a little bit more space and privacy. And maybe next time they could make an entire family trip of it, maybe stay for a little bit longer with Christine and maybe my parents could come too. Travis tried to get my mom to come, but it was such a short, fast week. And my mom really wants to come for a little bit longer if she's going to come all the way to Orlando. All right, but one final trip aboard the water taxi back to City Walk and then back to the parking garage. This is my last time boarding a water taxi for a little while. Pulling away from the dock now. Goodbye, Sapphire Falls. It was fun. I can't wait to stay here again. So I'm pretty sure that this is considered the garden walk up here, which is why you would take over to get to Cabana Bay. One thing is definitely true though, is I really had my first sincere, just uncle experience this weekend in particular, just being available for Travis the entire time. Just helping entertain the kids and doing child swap and whatever else Travis needed. And Brennan helped a lot too, but wow, who would have thought that, uh, that kids are exhausting? I guess the daily commute didn't really help either, but it was absolutely worth it to hang out with Travis and the kids. And then for the time that Brennan could join us too, that was really special and fun. I'm still mad though, because the weather feels awesome right now and it was just so hot the past couple days. And now it is back to the car to head home to just get ready for the rest of the week. So a long time ago, not a long time ago, somewhat a long time ago, I did a challenge where I rollerbladed or I tried to rollerblade around Universal Orlando and I couldn't specifically because of the security hub here. There is a walkway that would connect but I don't think that I'd be able to do it. It's something that I just I've always thought about. Every time I come here pretty much I'm like could I have actually done that? See where there's like a sidewalk that goes to the security hub but that's also where Valet is so that's where I was able or unable to continue rollerblading around Universal. This is very random but it's just stuff that I think about 
I guess, often because that's something that I really wanted to do. Okay, heading down the escalator, now all the way down to the very bottommost level to my car. I said that I was nostalgic about the parking garage, which is definitely true, but it really set the precedent for just myself being a little bit of a scaredy cat when I was younger. A lot of a scaredy cat, honestly. Just, it's a very ominous uh, place to, to show up to. But then also there's that like adrenaline of anticipation. So thank you for spending the past several days with myself and my brother and my nephew and my niece at Universal, even though I did not show them at all, which is again, just a privacy preference. And then I didn't really show Travis a lot because he was consistently dealing with the kids. And so just trying to navigate around that and vlog, it's a challenge, but it's also again, something that's just personally for me to be able to sort of just connect those dots and, and fill in that space with the memories that I actually did make with everybody that was here and then whenever Brenna was able to come and just I don't know it was just it was a very very special weekend I've not gotten to see Travis he has not been able to come to Orlando for years and just specifically this weekend because Christine um, had sort of like a girls weekend that he was able to just really quickly just make those plans just buy a ticket down to uh, Universal and book a room at Sapphire Falls and I was able to meet up with him and it was just it was so special so many amazing memories recreated a lot of photos took a lot of videos that I'm going to be sharing with my mom and Christine and her parents and it was just it was a really really nice weekend and I, I it probably narratively wasn't the most interesting or easy to follow at certain points because I was trying to prioritize them obviously but I don't know it was special to me thank you for watching I'll see you soon have a great day and goodbye